All right, so Carmine here has agreed to be our subject. I'm gonna be putting him through the prep, showing you guys where to place the electrodes and how to apply them. And then I'll take you through the software, the setup, the calibration before we get started with our test. So just our checklist really quick. We're gonna have six of our electrodes. We're gonna have some ultrasound gel, some new prep, rubbing alcohol, gauze, and of course, our blood pressure cuff that we'll be placing on our subject. So before we get started with anything, we'll like to make sure that we've got our BP cuff on. Now, we're just gonna let them hang out here that starts to slide down a little bit right now, no big deal, we'll fix that later on. Okay, so the first step of the prep is taking some rubbing alcohol and your gauze and prepping the spots. So I'll get started with the rubbing alcohol. First spots we're gonna start with are on the neck. Now all of these electrodes should go on the left side of the body. Okay, so we're gonna find in line with the earlobe about midway on the neck not too close to the trap, not too close to the ear. Go ahead and wipe that down with some alcohol. Okay, good, so we've got that piece all clean. You wanna make sure that you're pushing hard enough, the skin should get a little bit red, and even further so with the new prep. Okay, we're gonna find the middle of the sternum here. Go ahead and wipe that down. All right, now we've got V6. Okay, go ahead and wipe that down there. And then we're gonna to come to the back and we're gonna find what's in line with his xiphoid process. So you come around to the front, one hand on the front, one hand on the back where the xiphoid process is, and shift slightly over to the left to avoid placing the leads directly on the spine. We'll give that a nice wipe. All right, and now we can turn back around. Thank you, sir. And we'll move on to our new prep. So our new prep is very abrasive in itself. So you don't need to use too much of it to do the job. For your client's comfort's sake, you don't have to be too generous here. All right, so just give that a little white. That's good, it's nice and red. Come around to the front, sternum, give it a white. It's nice and red. V6, give it a white. All right, the skin's nice and red, and then we'll come around one more time to the back. Okay, and we'll find our spot again, just to double check. Xiphoid process, shift over slightly to the left. And it'll be nice and red. Beauty. To finish off, we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna wipe it down with some clean gauze. Make sure all that new prep's off, all that alcohol is off. Beauty. And nice and red, beautiful. Okay. All right, so next thing we're concerned about is attaching the electrodes to the leads themselves. So it's good to put these on before you're attaching them to the patient, just because it's a little bit hard to, to really push them on, and that could be uncomfortable, especially on the neck. As soon as they're all on, you're gonna hear a nice click for each one of them. We can get started with our application. So the first one we're gonna be worried about here is our neck electrodes. Now we've got our white and our blue. So our white is going to go on top and our blue is going to go on the bottom. We're gonna take a look at our neck here. All right, our spots should all be red at this point, so it shouldn't be a guessing game as to where you're placing these leads. Now, like I said, I don't want it too high or too low. I want it directly in the middle. Okay, so we're gonna go white. And because these electrodes are a little bit large, we can overlap them just a little bit. So long as the electrode itself is in contact with the skin, the sticky can overlap. Thank you, Jake. We can turn back around. All right, so the next one we're worried about here is the sternum, and we're gonna use our red lead, okay? So again, that spot is nice and red already for us. I'm gonna go ahead, 
stick that right on. Next one we're worried about is our V6 lead. We've got our orange lead for that one. Go ahead, stick that right on. And finally, we'll come around to the back. Good, and now we've got our green and our black. So the black will be on the bottom, the green will be on top. Good way to remember that is grass on top of dirt. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put our black electrode on first. Beauty, followed by our green. All right, thank you, Jake. So at this point, we can get started with our calibration process. We're gonna run through, put all of his information in. Now, if our client had been here before, we would go ahead on the screen and just hit load recorded patient. Because he hasn't been here before, we're gonna create a new patient. So his last name is Dakota, and his first name is Carmine. Now his ID, we can just use his birthday. So that's gonna be 8-21-1996. Go ahead and add that into his birthday here. 21 August 1996. All right. Our subject is six foot one and 185 pounds. Beautiful. Just go down to the gender here, click male, and we should be all good to go after checking to make sure this information is all correct. Next. So here, this pop-up, we're worried about the averaging and the measurement mode. For the averaging, we're gonna go ahead and select time. Increase that to 15 seconds. For the measurement mode, we're gonna go ahead and hit exercise test because we will be exercising. The calibration down here, you don't have to touch. We'll leave that at 30, and we'll go ahead and hit next. Now this is just a, a reminder for you. This is just to check the leads, make sure they're in the proper positions, in the proper heights. Okay, so we're gonna have white and blue on the neck. We're gonna have red on the sternum, orange on V6, green over black on the back. Okay, so at this point, we're just waiting for this little line on the side that's red to work its way up. As soon as that's green, we can get started with our calibration. Now that it's all green, we can go ahead, proceed to calibration. As we're waiting here, we'll get ready to take our blood pressure. We got 122 over 70. Go ahead and hit next. All right. In a perfect world, we'd like these all to be green, but they look okay here. We're at the top end on these two, but that'll be just fine. And we can go ahead and hit proceed to real-time monitoring. And we can begin our test. Okay. 